You know, people from Bayfield, New Brunswick are some of the best in the whole province, uh, hardworking people, very dedicated to the Pitcher province. But did you know that two uh, athletes from the community played in the NHL? They were both brothers, and one of them played in two Stanley Cup finals and almost won the Cup on a pair of occasions. Now, today we're going to be talking about the first one, uh, and he's not the George Allen that you knew, no, not the Washington Redskins coach, but George Trenum Allen, which, who was born July 27th, 1914, a World War One baby. Now, uh, at the time, uh, uh, small communities in New Brunswick had a lot of backyard rinks, a lot of uh, young players were coming up, and uh, that's what happened to George and later his brother. Their upbringing led to them to a strong hockey career. Now, Allen began his career playing in various locations in the East until he joined the North Battleford Bray Beavers of the Northern Saskatchewan Senior Hockey League with, with whom he went to the Allen Cup in 1937, where he lost to the Sudbury Tigers. <coughs> now, after playing four games with the Tigers himself the following year, he was signed by the New York Rangers and assigned to, signed to the New Haven Eagles farm team. Now, injuries to the Rangers forced him to call up Allen during the 39 season, uh, taking Lynn Patrick's place in the lineup, and he earned 12 points in 19 games. In his debut with the Rangers, he scored three points, including two goals and a helper, which set a Rangers bar for po most points in the first game uh, by a rookie later matched by Dominic Moore in 2003. After a season, his rights were then sold to the Black Blackhawks on May 17, 1939. Now, with the Blackhawks, he had his highest acclaim, where he came, uh, became a regular everyday player and was fifth in team scoring in his first season. His best season ranking-wise Chicago was 41, where he was second in uh, team scoring and third in the playoffs. His best season production-wise was 44, when he scored 41 points, good for fifth on the team, and was third in playoff scoring as Montreal swept Chicago in the Stanley Cup Final. Now, Allen missed the 45 season due to the National War Labor Board restrictions and crossing the Canada-U.S. border. He played one more year in Chicago ahead of the 47 season, was then traded to the Habs for Paul B. Bow, with both teams holding right of recall. After the season, uh, where Toronto had defeated Montreal in the finals, the players were returned to original squads, but after a couple of seasons in the minors, Allen never played in the NHL again. Now, Allen went on to spend one season as a playing coach during the 51 campaign with the Regina Capitals. Now, after Allen's brother Viv, uh, like we had mentioned before, played six games with New York Americans in 1940, but as the Americans did not play Chicago in that span, the two brothers never had a chance to play against each other in the NHL. After hockey careers, uh, the Duetta brothers went into farming together. Now, again, uh, total NHL uh, uh, tallies, 197 points, 339 games, 82 goals, and 19 points in 41 playoff games. Now, again, the minor league uh, teams and with the senior teams, nor battle for Beavers, Sudbury Fruit Tigers, New Haven, New Haven Eagles, Philadelphia Ramblers, uh, Buffalo Bisons, Cleveland Barons, Minneapolis Millers, and of course the Regina Capitals in 51, where he was also a player head coach with a 14 41 and 1 record. So, uh, uh, outstanding career, almost won the Stanley Cup twice, but playing in two finals, uh, you know, uh, tremendous for such a